What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Got a very special video for you today. I'm super excited about today's video. There's a reason why. <laughs> a bunch of videos back, I showed you guys, I went up and picked this replica set up from uh, the guys at Split Image Replicas. And I told you I had a special reason why I made another set. And today you're gonna get to find out exactly why. So, a little bit in a hurry to get down there in time, but there's two sets of shed antlers that were picked up off the fire bowl that were picked up by a young kid and his dad. His name was Eli. So Eli and his dad had two sets off the bull. Before we ever connected all these dots and knew that this was the bull that I shot, the fire bull, they had two sets off him. Well, both sets were a little bit busted up. The older set, they actually sold to a lady named Karen. Now I'm going down today to meet up with Karen to get her set. So I'm trading her this replica set, which is the exact replica the year I killed him, for her set of sheds. So I'm able to get my hands on at least one more set off the fire bowl, which I think is really cool. I do have one set now that Jared Woolsey found. So it'll be fun to have two sets. The other set that Eli and his dad found, they're keeping those. They told me there's just a little too much sentimental value for them to get rid of them, which I completely understand. I would personally love to get my hands on them once again and uh, see them in person because they're just, they're spectacular. Really, really pretty set of sheds. I found the newer set hard white and the other set was, uh, you know, a couple years old, but still in great shape. But I'm gonna drive down to her house, meet with her and do the swap, so. Let's go. It's about a 45 minute drive down to Karen's place. She says uh, her boys are Hush fans. So I got them some Hush hats to take them. Just super excited to go get my hands on these, see them in person. I don't know if I've ever seen this set in person, but I did set, I did see the other set that uh, Eli had. And man, I just, again, they're super impressive. The biggest set of sheds that was picked up off the fire bowl, or I should say the highest scoring set was from last year. Two brothers found them, and I think they were three or, I don't know, like two, three, maybe even four years old laying out there, so good for them for finding them. A lot of us put in a ton of miles looking for that set. They just happened to pick the right spot and uh, find both sides. So again, this bull must have been a scrapper because almost every single set that I know of him, off of him, was busted. We made the exchange. I have some new additions in the back of my pickup truck. And uh, I just didn't want to invade in their home and take my camera and just whip it out and start videoing everything. I had a good time with Karen and her family. All her boys are big hunters. Heck, even their girlfriends and wives all hunt. We just sat in the living room, swapped stories. We compared the sheds to the replicas. And man, I'll tell you what, this bull has got so many similarities year to year, just like any other deer and elk. It's just fun to see the sheds next to the actual head and just look at all the little tiny features, little tiny details that that bull carried from year to year. So I have the set. I will get some video when I get a chance to show you guys holding them. Well, we made it home. And uh, here they are. One set of antlers for another. Let's get them out and show you guys. This is the set off him. I think three years before I shot him. So this was busted off at the main beam. So this is all donor antler, she called it. And she actually did a really good job on the main beam. The fifth is probably longer than it would have been. And there definitely wasn't an extra point, but this is a real antler that she used to repair it. And the other side was almost all there, except for the third was busted. So that has been replaced. And she was almost done with uh, putting the final touches of epoxy and color on it. And I just told her, don't waste any more of your time. Not that it's a waste of time, but I just said, don't spend any more of your time fixing them up or anything. I'll just take them as is. So that's the set together so similar to uh, all the other sets of sheds off him and of course the year I killed him. What blew me away was how small his burrs are on that year. I mean, that's, that's honestly not a very heavy burr at all. It's a good size, but it's not very big. All 
right guys, here is the set together. There's some work done on one of those pedicles. I think that's because they were gonna actually mount it on a, uh, a elk skull, fake elk skull, probably a mount, mountain Mike skull or something, but here's the set together. As impressive as he always was, this was a big bull for a lot of years, and somehow eluded hunters on that mountain for quite a while. That's the set together. <laughs> These things even being hard whites, they were laying out there for a while, they've been colored, but they're still super heavy. I mean, that horn alone is still got some major weight to it. So this right here, that's the year I killed him. And uh, you put this other one next to it. Match those up. They sit almost perfect inside each other. It's crazy how similar that their antlers will grow from year to year. Check that out. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I think it's awesome. Antlers have always fascinated me. Things are super cool. All right, we got them together. Check that out. So these up front, these are a set of replica antlers that I had, the guys at Split Image, cut them off and make them look like sheds. So this would be the year that I killed him versus I think three years before that. And we'll just do a little walk around and show you guys the similarities and differences. One thing that's funny is that he had this point for at least three years uh, uh, worth of his antler growth. And then the last few years, uh, it was gone. It wasn't present whatsoever. Clearly a lot of similarities in the frame, but because he lost his main frame there, the right side is the best one to kind of compare and contrast everything on. So the third, again, was probably broke, I'd say, right about there. She replaced it, but if you look at it, it's not far off, just a little different in shape, I would say, from what it would have been and what it was the year I killed him. But that back end, of course, the telltale sign of the fireball. Uh, this is the first year that he really started to blade out on his fifth Then he had that point the next year then he had it the next year as well So there it is next to each other pretty crazy super cool to get my hands on him and have another set off him It's always fun to put them together Being a big antler fanatic that I am it's really cool to To be able to have a not one but now two sets of sheds off the bull I killed so many people growing up would always ask me, how do you know it's the same deer or same elk if you find consecutive sets off him? And the best way to explain that to somebody is put them side by side. They're, you can see that right there. They're almost identical. Anyways, that's those together. Welcome back, guys. As you can see, I got the goods and we're at the Mountain Ops headquarters. So we just got in a nice morning workout with everybody and my buddy Chandler's up here and Brian Shilla Killa we call him he's up here and his bull is inside and we're gonna swap out some new pedestals so let me show you the before is this guy we called that the studded belt skateboard <laughs> pedestal right there, those old studded belts we had back in the day super cool I mean really great idea but so he upgraded okay. to this one Another look at Brian's bull, which I need to get the story on this in full detail sometime today. We're swapping out the fireball pedestal with the last one. This is the fourth one I got from Mitch. This thing's gonna look good because that pedestal, this one will match, and then the two in the back are also the same. Careful. So we're just setting fireball down now. This is going to be his new home right here. It's like guys underneath the hood of a car. Oh, Chandler, get in, get in there. Got Chandler the builder. Yep. Look at that guy. So that 
Yeah. Yeah, so this one. That'll factor in that where it's bolted it underneath. Some people bolt them straight on the top. That one's bolted underneath, and then the fire bowl has a post in him, and it just slides right over, and it, his chest sits flush versus, like, say, this style. Where this one's got a little you bit extra. So that would mean it would look just like this underneath. Yes. yes. Perfect. Yes. And it would clear perfect. Yes. Drink. Oh, what? <laughs> and Chandler. Switch it. I told you I retired the uh, tools. If this battery is any good. Oh, nope. here we go. Oh. oh my, dude. What are the chances <laughs> that we have the same tool batteries? Oh, and that's a good thing about mine. Yeah. <laughs> We're, it's, a good, it's, a, it's a dang good thing, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I knew better. I at least brought my charger. I knew what they expect. But they haven't been used in a while, bro. You're welcome, man. Your battery's not doing so hot either. Dang, three Come batteries. On. Come on. We're almost there. Sorry, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh my God. works Whoa. like a glove. Perfect. Have a gap in this there. one turned out um, pretty sweet. Got the fire bowl up on a new pedestal. The side and see if it tightens up. Okay. Turned out that. good. And this one we're gonna finish. Up. We're done. Thanks to these guys and their hard work and all the tools. Chandler's got the tools. Got a few. Yeah. So Brian's bowl is on a pedestal, new pedestal. Looks awesome over here in the corner. This one was a little top heavy. He really wants to pull forward, so we had to do some work to level that out. Fireball was easy. Just He just went right up there. Yeah, he just went right up there, switched pedestals. He's got a new look. He's a little taller now, so he's about eye level. A lot of taxidermy guys say if you can get him eye level and get him off the ground a little bit, it really puts him into perspective that way. This thing needs a little TLC from being moved around so much. I need to come clean him up. The Idaho Bull is on the original pedestal we used at the Expo. The Utah Bull is on the same. So if you look at this one, he wants to, he's tilting a little bit that way. It's just because we've run out of wall space on the other side. Can't really tilt him any more than he is right there. So that's kind of how he sits. The Idaho Bull and then the other big two. And then yeah, this is what I wanted to show you guys is the shed antlers that I already had. This white set being the set found by Jared Woolsey. So that white one and that white one is a match set. And then these brown ones are the ones that I picked up yesterday. Over to the dead head. Dead head zone. Similar this thing where... Oh yeah. Baby's match right up. That's crazy. Huh? Oh yeah, it's nuts. Just how similar they grow year to year. <laughs> what do you think they'll hold our bone? How many pounds? Oh, they got to be 13, 13, 14 pounds. Oh, oh they're seventeen. That's Just nuts. Just to know that a bull can grow a different set of antlers each year, but they're so similar. Similar, and yep. Twenty. Four twenty-six inch sword. Oh, Come on, man. No, that's, oh, that's, that's the that's third. Years, that's <laughs> the third. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's uh, two years of sheds off, and these years go uh, year to year. So this is the older set, and then this was a set right after. And honestly, I think you shrunk a little that year. Yeah. You're looking. Yeah, it looks like a little. Yep, yep. The third, third big sure. time. The third is hard because it's uh, fixed. But I think the G1 was longer. I think the G2 was longer. Well guys, that's kind of a wrap for this video. Just wanna say thanks to my buddy Mitch Giles for building these pedestals. 